that kind of atmosphere of just like feeling like you could do whatever you want. So we started writing our own songs and regardless of whether or not we thought it was the right or good thing to do, it was it was fun. So that's that's always been the best part about writing music is you, you know it's your, you can call it your own. Uh, it's a lot more fun than playing covers all the time. I like playing covers, you know. I, I don't know a guitar player who doesn't like playing Led Zeppelin songs so it's, <laughs> or Beatles, you know. So, but it's fun to write your own music and and uh, and even fail at doing it every once in a while, you know. Then you learn what people like and what you really like. So I I've been a fan of of that. It's hard to write music though, and I'm pretty stingy about it. So it takes. It takes a couple years per song, I think. <laughs> it's not quite that bad. But. Do you remember uh, what some of the first songs you were? The, 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 for some of the first songs you wrote were? Uh, yeah, there was a song. Uh, I just like the name, uh, the sound of this. There's this town in upstate New York called Messina, and I, I wrote a, I wrote like this, like really kind of, you know, what I thought was like this catchy radio song, and you know, so. That was like one of the first things that I wrote uh, for for Mo. Uh, the other stuff, it was all just hobby stuff, so they didn't really have names. You know, they were like project number six. You know, <laughs> and it was just they were just kind of like practice tapes. But uh, yeah, the first stuff was just for fun, just to like kind of sound sound like my heroes. You know, write kind of Steely Dan sounding stuff and and. Uh, stuff that you would hear on the radio and then eventually like I started listening to more blues and some crazier like rock music like King Crimson and so that's the stuff that really really got me excited you know talking heads and stuff like that so. in, in terms of uh in terms of your songwriting process, I'm sure it's evolved and I'm sure it changes song to song, but typically is it the tune first in your head or you get a lyric line in your head and you build the song around that? In between the separate. Uh, I think it happens in a bunch of different ways, but usually like there are there are some lyric ideas that kind of brew for a long time and then there's like a bunch of like little uh, fiddly uh, instrumental stuff that I work on and then every once in a while you realize that you can put the two things together or like you've had a, the instrumental part for such a long time I just say I gotta write words for this you know just finish it so it happens a bunch of different ways like that you guys uh, you guys want to hear another song all right Chuck Garvin I have to uh, I have to retune quickly hold on just a second fill that dead air <laughs> so everybody uh, stay nice and cool out there <laughs> Just means we're gonna have a really, really, really hot show tonight. That's that's a perfect example. That song "Brain Tubo" was just like this little thing that was kind of funny to play, and uh, Mo just, you know, Rob. We were talking about brain brain tumor, brain tuba. I don't know. I don't, I don't know exactly how it went, but that's how the song got named. Start then... playing it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like this little fiddly thing, and uh, yeah, I just I don't know. Maybe we'll figure. It. We'll maybe turn it into a, a real song one of these days. Oh really? It was never much of a, a song. It was just kind of this funny time killer. <laughs> This uh, next song uh, I wrote for a Halloween show that we did a couple years ago, and uh, the, uh, we had fans pick the theme for the Halloween show, which is the electric lemonade acid test. And uh, everybody in the band wrote their own song, uh, you know, to contribute to the night's music, and, and this is the song that I wrote for it. And I wrote the music uh, first, and then I, I wrote like. 85% of the lyrics on a plane ride. I just, uh, I didn't have my computer, I didn't have a book, I didn't have anything. And all of a sudden I just like, I wrote out like two and a half verses really fast. So, oh, cool, you know, I got a new song. And it didn't take a year, so. Um, so I'll play that. This is like the, the, the alternate uh, acoustic version of uh, Suck a Lemon. Right back, don't 
touch my bone, I touch my bone Because you know the heads will go The cat looked back at the dog and said Suck a lemon, I'm dog, just go ahead Then one day you'll finally see Your beef with me is in your head Suck a lemon if you never try Then taste the thoughts that multiply You got bats in your belfry and mine to protect you from the world outside To protect you from the world outside By the side of the road where the bad thoughts go And the apples roll to find their rest And turn to mold, turn to mold Suck a lemon if you've never tried Then chase the thoughts that multiply You got bats in your belfry And I know how to protect you from the world outside To protect you from the world outside Not as they're told, this you can trust. They're in no oblivion or lust. The reassuring hand of God sometimes can sting and rain down fists upon your muddled head. You clod, clod. Suck a lemon if you've never tried, and chase the thoughts that multiply. You got bats in your belfry and rhino hide to protect you from the world outside. Suck a lemon if you never try, then chase the thoughts that multiply. You got bats in your belfry and rhino hide to protect you from the world outside. Protect you from the world outside.